Hi guys, um, I've got here a shoe mold. I hope you can see that. Um, that I have not cut yet. So if I was to fold this and try and fill that shoe up with chocolate, it's going to be a solid shoe. So what you want to do is just cut along, leaving probably a two centimetre little border around it. So then we can use big clips to um, hold the shoe together when we're going to fill it with chocolate. This particular mould cost me uh, 12 Australian dollars. So you can buy other shoe moulds that already come with magnets and you don't have to cut them or do anything to them. But they're obviously more expensive. You can get shoe moulds upwards of $100 for a silicone shoe mould. So you take your pick on what you're comfortable in spending and investing, but there's nothing to say that you can't make it look good with a cheaper mould. So as you saw there, I've just cut it in half just to make it easier to handle. And now I'm going to just follow along Now this area here, that's the opening of the shoe, so we don't need to leave the section to hold the shoe together. I'll just get rid of this bit so we can. So if I'm going to turn on the side, we want to cut in here. because if you leave this here then the shoe is going to be too closed and it's not going to look like a shoe. So I'll attack this bit from a different angle. This bit here we need to be super careful because we need to be precise.
So that's a really nice straight edge, crisp, clean cut. And when you put it together, you can see the beginnings there of when we cut the other side to match. So I'll just do that and I'll come back and show you when I put the two together ready for chocolate. So I've got both halves all cut out now um, and I've got my clips here ready to pin them together. So we've got to do that to make sure that all the edges line up. I like using lots of clips because then it minimizes my cleanup that I need to do. And that's that little edge there is the perfect size for the clips to clip onto. And there we go. So that's all clipped together. And what you want to check is that the edge up here lines up and it's all nice and clean, nothing sharp. And this edge lines up and you check all the joins inside within the mould to make sure that they all line up and they're not off, off centre and that your shoe is going to, it's the perfect shape before you start pouring in the chocolate. So that's what you're going to end up with. This is the brand of chocolate that I use. It's a cooking chocolate. So it's Nestle and it's a white chocolate. And I've colored it using um, Wilton powder color. Because if you put regular um, gel color, food coloring in it, the chocolate's going to see. So you need um, powdered color to colour your white chocolate. You could also try candy melts. Right, so here we go. Let's fill this shoe up. Excuse my mess, but we'll just carry on. Keep swirling that chocolate around until everything is covered. I'm going to spoon some more in.
and I'll just tip out the excess in the bowl. I'm going to pop this in the freezer for five minutes just until the chocolate stops running and add more layers. Okay, the first layer is set. It's literally been in the freezer for five minutes. So I'm gonna go in with another layer. Just trying to get the toe. Finish filling the heel. Making sure these edges around the edge of the shoe are nice and thick because otherwise they will break. And again, I'm going to tip out the excess. Back in the freezer for another five minutes. Okay, I've just pulled that out of the freezer. It's not, it's been five minutes, so it's not all the way solid. Going to go in with the final layer. That's it now. I'll just give it a little tap to make sure that it's all level in, you know, on the insole. And that's it. That's gonna go in the freezer now and um, for at least two hours before I go in for a clean up. So this is the next day. The shoe's been in the freezer all night. I'm uh, just gonna take it apart and have a clean. See how beautiful and shiny that is. Not a lot of clean up to be done. I've got the gloves on so that I don't get any um, fingerprints and just sharp knife. We want this section here to be nice and level so your shoe is going to sit straight on the cake. And the heel as well.
sitting straight and I'll just keep going and cleaning up this area here. There's a little crack there but that's fine because I'm going to put an embellishment there so that's no problem. I'll just carry on and finish cleaning it and come back. So I finished cleaning the shoe. All the white areas here is where I've scraped away um, and cleaned up where the two moulds joined. So I'm just going to use a damp paper towel to just wipe away all this all those chocolate shavings. And there you go, that's the finished shoe. And I'm going to add a little bow of, to the toe here. And that will be ready to go on the cake. So the reason I like it out of the freezer is so that the shoe is nice and cold and the chocolate isn't going to melt while I'm handling the shoe. But now that I've cleaned it up, this will sit in the fridge until it's ready to go on the cake. So this is the finished cake with the chocolate shoe on top. I've just added a gum paste bow onto the toe and I've secured that onto the shoe with melted chocolate. The little roses the, and the hearts are sugar paste as well and that's the birthday message on the side of the cake is sugar veil so the only thing that's not edible on this cake is the ribbon right here holding on the gift tag Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful and see you again soon.